Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Ohapel and today we're going to be talking about Flow. So this gameplay is a gameplay that I think really exemplifies Flow and I was definitely in kind of like a flow state while I was playing this match. I, it was a lot of fun and it ended up coming out nicely for our team. I think I go 9-1. and one. So for those of you guys that are unfamiliar with kind of this concept, I guess it's a psychology concept. And just like to quote the quick Wikipedia, it's flow is the mental state of operation in which a person performing an activity is fully immersed in a feeling of energized focus, full involvement, and enjoyment in the process of the activity. So this is kind of characterized by like lots, just in super intense focus, time almost shifts. Like sometimes when you're in a state of flow, you're like time slowing down, sometimes time speeding up. If you've ever been in something where you're really focused, and all of a sudden, like four or five hours is just gone in the blink of an eye, you are probably in some kind of flow state. Likewise, if you have some panic situation, you know, maybe you're doing a clutch in Call of Duty, maybe you had a sketchy incident on the highway in your car, and time seems to slow down, that can also be kind of a state of flow. So one of the things that this really relates to is gaming. It's even just studied specifically for gaming, and this is one reason people think that games help people uh, learn is because gaming is one way to more easily induce a state of flow. So this can be seen in gaming in a couple ways. One, I'm sure we've all had those long gaming sessions, especially when a new game comes out and all of a sudden you just blew your entire night. It's two in the morning and you didn't even realize it. That is flow. Similarly, again, like I mentioned, if you're in some clutch situation and you just, like, I have one of these later on in the match where all of a sudden the odds are completely against you and you just go ham, just know exactly what you're supposed to be doing, that is also a state of flow. So I'm no expert on it, but flow has also been associated with like greater happiness in life in general, and especially like feeling satisfied with the task at hand. So this can be something that when implemented in your life can not only give you higher performance in kind of like an exponential fashion, but also just make you a little bit happier. And there's a couple conditions for flow. First off, you have to be involved in an activity with a clear set of goals, right? So that one could be, again, in gaming like Call of Duty. That could be, all right, I am going to win this match. I'm going to go capture B-Flag, whatever it is. Second, it must have clear and immediate feedback. That's super easy in Call of Duty. There's risk there. You die. You get this kind of like emotional response that somebody else is kind of <laughs> gaining some pleasure at your defeat. There is immediate feedback in points, in kills, in deaths. And lastly, you must have a good balance between perceived challenges and perceived skill. So this means that, you know, if you're going up and you're a new player to Call of Duty, you're unlikely to reach a state of flow if you're going up against Team Optic or whatever. Um, it, you need to have something that's an appropriate skill level. There you go, right there. Just turn, perfect focus, and get that kill. Um, so it needs to be something that's an appropriate challenge level for your skill level. Also, lots of the research has associated there needs to be some risk. This doesn't necessarily mean physical risk, but it could be emotional risk, intellectual risk. Losing some social capital of some sort also works. And that kind of ties into gaming because of how much emphasis we seem to place on these irrelevant stats like KD and win-loss. So I'm sure a lot of you guys, especially psychology students, know about this concept and are going to correct me on some stuff in the comments below. But what I'm really interested in is hearing about some of your guys' experiences with flow, either in gaming, in real life. Maybe you had something super sketchy happen and you kind of felt that time slow down. Maybe it was some time where you were really focused on a project. You know, maybe you were doing some woodworking task or maybe, you know, you were reading a book or writing a paper. You know, I think we've all had that happen at some point in high school where you just have to get it done. There's clearly risk because if you don't get the paper done, you are going to get a bad grade. You sit there and you just, okay, fine, I'm going to start working. And then all of a sudden your fingers just start moving and before you know it, there's this paper done. And it's like you almost have to reread it yourself because you don't even realize what you wrote. Those are the states that I want to hear about. Tell me your guys' best stories in the comments down below. I'm looking forward to hearing them. Looking forward to see what you guys come up with. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Take it easy. On screen are my two most recent Call of Duty videos. On the left is the Coach O'Hapel video that I did about Josh Keatley. He's a great YouTuber. He has a pretty fun tips video. And over on the right, you can find my Call of Duty Ghosts Reinforce live commentary this was just kind of me rambling going through giving you guys my thoughts as i play the match hope you guys enjoy it and make sure to like favorite and subscribe